guys, I just want to show you something today. I've been meaning to do a video about this for a while. Um, I got a birthday present back in December from my husband and it has changed my life. I use it every single day. So I want to tell you about it in case you, like me, enjoy a little cappuccino now and then. Um, I got this Keurig K Cafe Special Edition single serve. Um, it makes cappuccino, lattes, espresso, and regular coffee, of course. So I'm gonna show you how to use it, how easy it is, and the yummy coffee that it makes. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to use this awesome machine. Uh, this Keurig um, is pretty easy to use. I figured out how to do it watching a YouTube video, so hopefully that's what you're doing today, watching this one. Um, first, you're just gonna take the water canister off which you just lift and it inserts in a little slot there. I'm gonna fill this with water. And once it's full with water, we're gonna turn the machine on. There's the water, and the lid for this opens very simply like that. So we're gonna put this back on here. All right, so there's our water, then we're gonna power our machine on. Now, um, if you want to use cream or milk, which of course, if you're gonna make a latte or cappuccino, you're gonna wanna do that. I usually, uh, since I have a bit of a sweet tooth, I usually use flavored creamer, but you can use milk or regular cream if you prefer. My number one favorite of the creamers to use is Coffee Mate's Peppermint Mocha. This is not a commercial, just saying I like it. Um, however, the stores haven't had that the last several times I've been there. So this is another one that I like quite well. Um, Coffee Mate Coconut Cream. So I am going to pour that in. Now if you look inside of this little canister, it's kind of hard to read, but you can see there's two lines, one for cappuccino, one for latte. I'm making a cappuccino, so put that in there and then set it back in the dock. And if you want your milk or creamer to be cold, like if you're making something iced, you can hit there's a cold button on there let's see if you see it the one on the left there is cold and then if you want latte you hit the top if you want cappuccino you hit the bottom i'm gonna have cappuccino so i'm gonna do that and get that going and then while that is frothing i am going to um do a little k cup to get going for making the coffee itself I don't buy pre-made K-cups. I prefer to use these reusable ones since they're a lot better for the environment. And then whatever your preferred brand of coffee is, you're just gonna put some into the uh, reusable K-cup. And I usually fill it, I fill it about like that. And then you're gonna seal it closed and this flat part here, I don't know if you can see very well, but see how that's flat? That has to go toward the back when you're putting it in. So you open this up and put it in. Um, and then up on top, I'll take a picture and show you that in a second, but there's buttons on top and the one that says Latte and Cappuccino, you're gonna hit that. And then hit um, the K button, which is your start button. That's gonna make your coffee, makes it strong. So you can see it's starting to make the coffee there. And espresso and lattes both usually have a shot of coffee. So that means it's a concentrated amount of coffee um, just like usually a couple of ounces with a lot of caffeine. 
Um, you can also, if you like more than that or don't like your coffee as strong, you can also just make regular coffee and then froth your creamer just to make it taste good. Either way works good. But you can see it's making my coffee there. And then once I get the, uh, once the coffee is done, which it looks like it's about done there, then I can take it off and you can see here, it's kind of hot, so I'm trying to be careful here. See that froth cream? Yum, yum. And then you pour that in. Now, if you decide to make a large cup of coffee rather than just a small drink like a cappuccino, um, you can, if your cup is tall, like a cup you take in your car or something, you can also pull this out and set the cup on there. That gives you a little more room for a taller cup. So that's kind of handy. And then these come apart very easily and can go on the top shelf in your dishwasher to be cleaned whenever you need to, or you could just rinse them in the sink. These I usually, I have a little container. I throw my, these little coffee um, K-Pods. I have a little, container that I put the used coffee grounds in and then after that I rinse these uh, once in a while I throw them in the top rack of the dishwasher to run through but it's not really necessary to do it every single time that you make coffee and I have several of those that I keep on hand because pretty much everyone in our house uses this either for coffee or for hot chocolate cappuccino latte whatever but look at how nice and foamy that is I did this in a big cup just so I'd be able to tilt it for you to see. But it's a nice foamy drink and it sure tastes good. If you're drinking this uh, coconut one, the coconut creamer one, it really tastes just like, um, it really tastes just like you're having a piece of coconut cream pie with, with some coffee. It's so good. I'm gonna show you how to make a single serve cup of drip coffee in this Keurig K Cafe Special Edition machine. To do that, you're just going to go up here, push power so that's turned on. Then, while the machine's warming up, you're going to put your K cup in the machine. So, you open that. This goes in. Make sure this flat part is toward the back so that the machine will close, like so. And then, the next step is to go up here to the top of the machine and uh, you're going to push coffee and then however many ounces you want. I'm going to go 10 in this particular cup because I like to leave a little bit of room for creamer. And then um, you push the K button for start. So once the machine's done warming up, it will start doing the coffee drip automatically. If you want to have frothy creamer in your coffee, you can of course use the feature over here that I've already talked about where you can uh, froth your creamer using either the latte or cappuccino button. If you want it to be cold, like for a nice coffee, you hit the cold button, otherwise it will warm it up a little bit. And then um, that can go into your coffee once your coffee is finished. But it's just about done getting warmed up here and then it's going to start dripping into the cup. This is my favorite coffee mug as you can probably tell because I pretty much always have my coffee at home in this cup and that's why it's been used a lot in this video. I have a zillion other mugs but this one is just my favorite because some days coffee does feel like it makes you awesome when you just don't have any stamina and then all of a sudden you have your coffee and you feel so much better. All right, so now we're gonna see it's gonna start dripping. There it goes. And it'll keep going until it's done the 10 ounces and then it will stop. Once it stops, if you're not doing creamer, then um, creamer in the machine, that is, then you can just turn the machine off. If you're going to do creamer in the machine, 
just know that if you're doing them both at the same time, you need to do the creamer first. Um, but if you're going to just make black coffee and not uh, do any cream in the creamer thingy over here, uh, then you want to run the creamer first if you're going to use that. Um, otherwise, you can just, of course, pour some creamer from just like a bottle of creamer in there. If you don't want to bother with frothing it, that's definitely another option. Coming back up here just real quick, if you are making a shot of espresso for a latte or a cappuccino or just to drink by itself, um, that, once you put your K-cup in here, you're just going to hit shot right here. And then, um, sorry, don't mind my nails. I filed them all down pretty good. Um, and then, uh, then the K start button. So just so you know. And uh, that should be pretty much it. If you have questions about this machine, make sure you address them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them. Thanks, have a great day.